Eight seven grains of salt. Who surrounds Trump? Well, this is just a quick look into a few members of his cabinet. Oh, well, no, that's not his cabinet. Whoops. But these are the ones, in my opinion, running the show there on the left. Well, if you're not familiar, I'm not a Trump fan anymore, and I want to share with you why. I used to be until I started seeing him do this. Went back, watched every single second, every time he pointed that out, what he was saying. And so I'm trying to wake up others to not being a Trump fan. Pence, Pompeo, Mnuchin, Esper, Barr, Bernhardt, Purdue. Well, they're all members of some kind of fraternity, whether it's the fraternity of the law, whether it's the Air Force, whether it's um, Kappa Beta Pi, or whether it's Skull and Bones. But they're all pro-Israel. And I'm not an anti-Semite. I, I love everyone. God has asked us to love everyone. But I'm not a Zionist. I don't think that they, at this point, are the chosen ones. And I have videos and things supporting that and showing you that, so if you want to watch those. But anyway, let's look at this member, Wilbur Ross, his other cabinet member. He is a vice chairman of the Bank of Cyprus, directors of navigators of, of a gas oil company, and he was a leader of a fraternity, Kappa Beta Pi. But most importantly is that he worked for the Rothschilds. So if you aren't aware that he has been on his cabinet and he's worked with Donald Trump ever since uh, helping him out of his foreclosures of some uh, casinos in Atlanta, um, you need to see that Do uh, Donald Trump is surrounded by all the same kind of people as Hillary, as anyone else. They're all in on this. The Rothschilds are very evil people. They own a lot and try to control a lot. If you're not aware of this or say that this is a tinfoil hat thing, then you need to start doing your own research. Even Trump's daughter, Ivanka, dated one of the Rothschilds. But he has other connections too, and everyone who's in TV or Hollywood, they're all connected and all run by similar people. It's sad to see, and I feel bad saying that, but that is the truth. And we need to wake up and trust in God alone. Then let's go back a little bit, Nikola Tesla. Anyway. He was in the Hotel New Yorker. He wanted to try out how he could use and have his own electricity in the building. And he and it's still run with its own electricity, mind you. This is not something that stopped. He worked for the IEEE, which is the name of it currently today, but it is um, back then it was AIEE, and it's an electrical company. But he did some very interesting experiments. He did artificial lightning, uh, yeah, back then. So imagine what they're capable of doing today. They had earthquake machines. They had all kinds of things that he was trying. He even tried brain enhancement on children, and he got the approval from New York to go ahead with it. Just think about that. Oh, and then, so, well, Mr. John G. Trump went in after he had passed away, and investigated to make sure Nikola Tesla's um, things he was experimenting on weren't dangerous. So he went in, investigated, and who knows, probably left with a lot of information. He got medals as well, look at them all. And, but he also worked for the AIEE. And probably did very many similar experiments as Mr. Tesla. He worked on x-ray machines. He helped do research for warfare and of radar as well. Hmm. So I don't think Trump is as uh, dumb as we want him to be. He's very mouthy and says the wrong things, but he's very well connected. He's very well connected to the Rothschilds in many ways. So his cabinet members, we have Will Ross. We have, he's got really good connections 
with the Rothschilds. This is one of their daughters, de Rothschilds, who's married to Finkelstein, who's now wanted to change his name just to Stein. It's so much easier to pronounce. I'm sure that's the reason. Then the connection to um, Rupert Murdoch and his son-in-law. I mean, there's the other connections, and the hand gestures goes on. He'll never put these ones into jail, because they're all playing the same game. He's also Rothschild connected to the Queen, and they're showing their respects to the Pope, because they have to. If it was me, I would not. I'd wear just a n nice outfit, but I would not be wearing this because I do not have any respect for that man. So don't you see this is the same game that is the same people who own everything. And this is, there's just no left and right. There's no Democrat and Republican. This is all something that they are doing. They have the Georgia Guidestones. They want to keep people, humanity level, under 500 million and they plan on doing it through food chemtrails you name it they own it all they own the banks they own everything so you're being you have mind control going on constantly whatever you're watching they're controlling what you're seeing he's connected to the orthodox jews soros and then let's not name a few of the gentlemen whose reputation just got flushed. But he's showing you with his hand signals who he has respect and who is controlling everything. Made him coins and everything. This, I believe, in this picture right here. <laughs> but I don't think he's as blind as what we're <laughs> that this picture is showing. Absolutely not. And I threw in this Kanye West picture because of Kanye trying to pull the Christians along into this Sunday service. I don't buy it. I'm sorry. This is all a wake-up call should be for all of us to see that ultimately they want to rule and control the things on this earth. And they have a lot of the control. You can't do anything in this world without being either run by them or then they wouldn't allow it. They wouldn't. So everything you're seeing and everything you're hearing, you have to second guess everything. Please go do research. Don't fully trust what I'm saying. Go do some research and you'll find out that that is the truth. But we must trust God. I thank God I have Jesus. I thank God to this day that he is my Lord and Savior, and I hope he is yours as well, because he is the only Alpha and the Omega. He is the one who created all and ultimately is in control of all things. These guys may think they control all, but they will be sadly mistaken in the end, and nothing happens without God's timing. I believe that people are in the positions they are right now because of situations and circumstances and God has controlled everything. Nothing can happen without him being aware. So stay close to Christ and just keep your eyes open. It's crazy out there. All right, enjoy the weekend, guys.